Virginia Shea, an Iowa mom, and today I thought I'd show you how to save money in time in the garden with a bale of straw. We're at Earl, Maine, and this is where we got our straw. This is a bale right here, and it's tied together with uh, a twine, and so then you just separate that. Okay, you can see I've got some squash here, and it's got a lot of weeds around it, so as I'm putting the mulch down, I just kind of pull up those little weeds. Carefully, you don't pull up your good stuff. I've done that before, and it's like, aha. Okay, now we're gonna sprinkle the straw and make sure it is loose when you're doing this. Just sprinkle it right up next to your plant. This isn't something you have to do. I mean, if you wanna get out there and weed and take a garden hoe and whack away or use a tiller, that's fine too. The only thing is you will have to water more often because the ground will not hold the moisture as long without the mulch. Now that we have our mulch here and our plants have been growing and enjoying this, it rained last week and when I reach under here it's still nice and moist. It's been very hot here. Uh, in heat index of over 100 a couple days. And this is hard on plants. It stresses them. And we all know that stress is bad, right? It's bad for plants, too. So we want to protect them as much as we can. And the straw gives a shade to the ground so that when that sun beats down, it's not going to be uh, getting that ground so, so terribly hot. And that will protect the plants as well. Uh, another thing you'll find is you're still going to have some weeds pop up, and when they do, they just pull out so easy. And that's because the ground is kept moist and loose. Uh, you've got your um, earthworms down here doing their job keeping the ground loose as well. An additional benefit is that when your harvest is done, you can till all of this matter into your garden and what's going to happen is that's going to rot over the winter and then it's going to enrich the soil when you have your rotting matter like this it's going to give your soil more uh, it's going to make it looser and easier to till in the spring it's kind of like having a compost pile right in your garden and as you till that in it's going to be ready for the next coming year so straw is a wonderful mulch uh, avoid things like wood bark and wood pieces and things like that for an annual garden. And what I mean by annual is that they grow each year and then they die out. If you have a perennial flower bed, that's fine because you're not going to be chilling that up every year. But you want something that you can get into the ground and then it's going to rot over the winter so that your soil is rich and ready for your next 